tribal trails The Son of God, He is near He chose to walk with us These tribal trails Tribal trails tribal So Bill, trails. you've been around for a while and so have I. Uh -huh. And tribal trails have been around for a while. And I just wondered, I'd just like to visit and talk to you about your thoughts when it first started. Yes. Where were you? Well, I was living at Goodfish Lake at the time. We had just moved there not too long. And uh, I was still on the uh, board, western side board, oh. at east and west. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, we were living where we just moved to where we're living now. How did you first hear about tribal trails? I used to go 200 miles to Meadow Lake to make the recordings for the Indian Gospel broadcast. That was taken oh. out, stopped, and uh, for me I thought, well, you know, God wants people to hear the Gospel but he stops the fountain of water that's going through. I'm, I'm reasoning, of course. How else can you do it, you know, to get the gospel that far? By the way, uh, I've heard of conversions. Sometime later, after the broadcast taken off, people who got converted, an elderly man, I wouldn't talk about that today, but maybe another time, through Indian gospel broadcast. So it was taken off, lo and behold, something else came up. And that was uh, through a period of time. I don't know uh, how long it was, the broadcast stopped and what we call tribal trails started. It wasn't called, let's get together and start a TV program, we'll call it tribal trails. Tribal trails, the name came quite a while later Quite a while later, Derek Hiscock's time, he was with, but it wasn't even then. Uh, I think it was Fred Evans, Donna, Lakey, uh, Anderson, and they were hosting the travels. And uh, so being uh, on the board, I thought we'd share something with them that was on my heart that by now, which could be not a replacement. I still thought carrying on radio broadcast would be better. But I also knew that TV was coming on and uh, more and more people all over, all over had TV. And uh, I thought of these people who come on TV, um, well, they must have somewhere started and uh, a lot of people are listening to them and so on. And uh, board, me board meeting came, Harold Roberts being one of the members and uh, Philip Howard and uh, myself, Bud Elford, I think that's it. So we, when everything was pretty well done, I introduced uh, something like this. Why couldn't we take video people preaching the gospel in Cree or in English? I thought the other one was Cree. You see, Indian gospel broadcast was mostly in Cree. Yes. Most of my, myself and John Unger, and sometimes we had Barney Lasandri and a few others that uh, spoke Cree. And uh, anyway, we thought, well, make a video in Cree. And estimating or thinking about the cost, I thought, you know, even once a month would be good to have a video, half hour, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. whatever, in Cree. And, uh, well, it, it caught on with Bud Elford. I was sitting about that far from Bud, I remember. And, uh, I wouldn't say it as a fact, but it seemed with the others, uh, 
you know, this is a long story. It's a good dream, but a long story and mm, expensive. Not, not really, yeah. you know, important. It was toward the end of uh, maybe collecting your papers and all that and putting them away, you know. And I uh, said, well, it wouldn't cost this much a, a month if we did it once a month or twice a month. And, uh, well, Bud Elford caught the vision. I'll make it short. We discussed a little bit about it. He had a lot to say about it. You know, he said it, it could happen. And with the Lord, he can make it happen. After all, he puts it on something on our hearts. He can make it happen. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desires. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Much we need thy tender care. In thy pleasant pastures feed us. For our use thy folds prepare. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast bought us thine we are. Blessed Jesus, blessed Jesus, thou hast bought us thine. There, the group was there and uh, had been called, and uh, there, Derek had had some experience with taping programs. I don't know how much, but he had some. Now, I may not have all the figures straight, but one thing I wanted to say, I never, it's such uh, a big gift of God that I don't want to put my name in there as somebody who started, you know, this kind of thing. I believe that God, God did prompt us, say, you know, to go this route and... Prompt uh, many people. Yeah. yeah. The next time we met uh, Western Board, it was a different story. Mm -hmm. It was already there now, uh, what are we going to do and how much money are going to raise toward it and so on. And on it went from there. Uh, I think Derek, the last time I talked to Derek was at a conference in KBI. Mm -hmm. And we were talking a lot about different things regarding what, what it should be called. And I didn't have any idea on that. But somewhere, Tribal Trails came along, I think. I, Fred think, Fred Evans. From, I think from Fred Evans. Yeah. And yeah. He, uh, from the song. Made, made, made the, the song. song. Yeah. Yes. I heard about that later. Yeah. And, uh, well, there it is, Tribal Trails. I think it's a good name. Uh, and <laughs> when we think of it. Uh, trails, that's all they had and be, before. I read about these stories where they go through through the jungle. It isn't all new. There's trails. There's actually the places where they chop the tree a little bit. This is where you turn, you know, this kind of thing. Where people have gone, have yeah. walked. Tucked away somewhere in the corner of your heart there are memories of father and home. Let your mind go back to his tender loving care. Then rise up, my son, and go home. There he stands, looking out across the fields, Longing eyes are searching everywhere. Oh, my son, turn your steps toward your home. Loving arms are waiting for you there. Tucked away somewhere in the corner of your heart. There are memories of father and home. Let your mind go back to his tender loving care. Then rise up, my son, and go home. Then rise up, my son, 
and go home. Bud Elford phoned me after he got home. He said, you know, I'm going to follow that up. He talked with uh, uh, CKBI. I don't remember all that transpired then regarding CKBI. Maybe they were in favor. It almost seems like they were. But now he's going to see Edmonton Station. At least two stations were interested in. And he went to Edmonton, and that's where uh, he met this uh, football player, a kicker, a guy that makes field goals. <laughs> uh, Dave Cutler is with the, used to be Eskimos, Elks now, I guess. And uh, he said to, uh, Dave said something to Bud, you should see our manager. I, I work for the station, but I'm only on this side. Uh, not not the important position, uh, something like that. Yeah. And he said, you know, I think this could be a reality, but uh, you should see him. Uh, so he introduced him to the to his boss, mm -hmm. and uh, from there, uh, Bud uh, continued uh, with this guy. And then one day, uh, he, well, he pho he kept phoning me about it, and he said, pray about it. I think this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, I was asked if I would come and speak, be maybe take part. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't prepared for that. I was up to my neck with camps all over. Uh, I was starting camps here and there. And uh, I was into that quite a bit and and no, I, I thought somebody else will do better than that for me. I'm, my heart is not, a, I couldn't say I'm led of the Lord to, although that's what I'd like to see going, I can't see myself moving and Direction. doing just that, yeah. yeah. So I said, I'll leave my, my uh, uh, mind open to it, but it never came about in that way, yeah. How did you see God work through the years in tribal trails? Yeah, well, for one thing, uh, it's a far different story when you preach to, I don't care if it's 5, 10, 15, 50 people, 100 people, or 500 people. I have talked to different groups that big, you know, uh, and uh, not very often big crowd, but to preach at a camera, you know, it's totally different. Uh, I... Uh, I'm self-conscious of this, you know, and there's nobody there. But I do know once it gets over there, there's going to be lots of people. Yeah. So I'm imagining people listening to a radio broadcast or people looking at a person who's speaking, uh, you know, the gospel. And so I prayed much about it, and I think I got kind of used to it. And I don't think of it as a little thing every time. Any time that I preach on tribal trails, I think it's, a, to me, a big issue. And lots of it comes from my heart to say, this is the way I see it, and I believe that's God's way. Yeah. Why do you think it's such a useful tool to Native people? Well, even today when I hear uh, people commenting, just like now about these residential schools, finding, finding graves and all that, uh, when I when I see Native people talk about the same thing, not just the news people, you know, uh, uh, maybe they're not Native, but Native people, well, let's see what he's got to say. It kind of draws my attention a bit. Yeah. Not that I wouldn't listen to the others, but here's what, got, got what he's got to say. <clears throat> and uh, I think in that way... Uh, for me, the way people have told me is that the way you use stories, uh, I got before me uh, some uh, puzzles. You know what? It's striking to me what the resemblance or can compare to Bible study. You can't just put this over here without looking at it and say, oh, this, yeah, that'll fit there, and put another one there, uh, that'll fit there. 
No, neither will it just come together. It's got to be, there's a way, it's got to be that uh, each one is in its rightful place. For instance, this one that I'm holding belongs somewhere. Now, there's lots more here, but I just brought a few. It belongs somewhere, maybe over here, I don't know. Neither do they just fall into place. Recently, a fellow was talking to me and he said, I went to this church and the more I learned, the more I studied, the more I was confused. Apparently, the word of God was not the most important thing in that church for him. He found out. He said, uh, I started to know this when there are some things are said that just didn't seem to fit. And I take that like this puzzle. Sometimes the heads on these, I call them heads, these pointed things, okay? Sometimes they're too tight and you have to kind of force them in. But if you're going to force them in, that means they're not from there. You know, there's things that we're taught sometimes. You wonder, boy, is that right? Don't take everything for granted, people. There are people who are not teaching the Word of God the right way. They're not teaching the truth. They're missing out on something. Maybe sometimes they're forcing things or else they put it in even if it's loose. That is not the right way to do a puzzle. Neither is it the right way to handle the Word of God. For Native people, if you want, to hear, you want them to hear you, hey, use repetition. It won't hurt. And... Uh, my favorite theologian, uh, uh, he, he says that, you know, uh, Reynolds Sowers, Friends of Israel. All right. Writer. But uh, he said uh, anything, he said, if you said it once, if they didn't catch some words, they may not remember it. But if you said it twice, if they had missed something, they caught it second time. Don't have to say it five times, but say it at least twice in some more important issues. And, uh, you know, then you're not misunderstood. Not that you're, uh, you're, under, you're understood you're going to take everything you say. No, but you're getting the truth and you're, it's understood. Now he's res they're responsible for their reaction to God regarding what they heard. Yeah. So Tribal Trails started 40 years ago. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it blossomed almost overnight. Mm -hmm. God provided the staff, provided mm -hmm. the money, provided the cameras, and provided the people to share their testimony. Mm -hmm. Many people that, we, that I speak to say they enjoy listening to tribal trails. Why do you think that is? For one thing, uh, when a native person is speaking to another native person, uh, I think he knows, uh, he understands the person where he's coming from, why he's saying it in the way he's saying it. And uh, for Bible teaching, there's still yet, I believe, God has given Bible teachers. For that I'm saying, not everybody is a Bible teacher, but uh, in any case, though, uh, a native person responds to another native person because he knows where he or she is coming from. I think that's one of the things. There may be other factors. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. I have been with Tribal Trails through the 40 years, mm -hmm. long time. Yeah. But I think um, one of the blessings that is for, Tribal Trails is for me is the honesty. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if a person is converted and they're convicted of sin, mm -hmm. 
the honesty of the people who share well, what God has done in their life, mm -hmm. I think is one of the things that touches people's heart because that's not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. That's hard yeah. to say, I did this and I did that. Mm -hmm. And an awful lot of people can't say that and can't go there. Mm -hmm. But our but the people who share on tribal trails do. And they share how God, what I was before and what I am now. Mm -hmm. they, share, they, they share and they show the power of God. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's one thing I like about tribal trails and the people who share. I am so proud of my people. I am so proud of the people who, who come and bear their hearts to the people on that camera. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a beautiful thing. And they do it because God helps them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think I agree with you on that. They, uh, I think there's some things also I learned in my ministry through the years. If I don't pray much about my message, mm -hmm. it could fall flat. Huh? And it has a lot of times. However, when I'm in a state of being put in the corner, as it were, and I pray a lot about uh, maybe sometime you got to, you, you know what the people are like, what, they, what they're up against, or you know that a lot of them are not going to agree with you or whatever, uh, and you pray. And your prayer is more in earnest. It works that people will listen to, to the word. Sing them over again to me, wonderful words of life. Let me more of their beauty see, wonderful words of life. Words of life and beauty. Not quite exactly the way the pastor put it, but he said, perspiration Saturday, inspiration Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah. like the one, the young pastor, he was, he wanted to go hunting rabbits on Saturday afternoon. The pastor said, look, yeah, you're, I'm teaching you, uh, and you're going to be with me another three weeks or so. Yeah, but I like going through the bush and uh, hunting a bit. But you, you're preaching tomorrow, I guess you know that. Well, yeah, I do. But preaching for me, I, I can do it and think nothing of it. Yeah, I said, that's it. The people might think the same way. <laughs> think nothing of it. Okay, so he learned his lesson. Yes. Anyway, uh, I, I believe that not only sincerity as such, but we believe in prayer. Uh, I believe that most of the uh, times when people have come to the Lord, and uh, I don't say that we had lots of people come to the Lord through my ministry, but I could say, yeah, quite a number altogether. Um, not not multitude, they'll say. And uh, I do know this, that those sermons have gone with prayer, very much prayer. And uh, I, I know when the Lord uh, is with me is there he's actually speaking through me and so on and it makes all the difference yeah and people who ordinarily may know may not listen they're oh, hey this uh, maybe i should listen a little more and they do yeah that's uh i had an experience not too long ago in fact last week there was a guy happened to be in the same place where we were eating outside. Now, I don't know, remember the situation now, but he came to me and sat with me there. And I listened to you last Sunday, he said. 
Oh, I said, that's good. I, I said, I didn't see that, I, what program it was. I said, what did I talk about? <laughs> I said, I don't know. <laughs> didn't use the words, I don't know. He said, I, I don't remember all that you were speaking about. No, I said, it's just, when you listen to it, I said, listen to it good, because your life your, can, make, it make, can make a difference in your life. Right. When you start listening, I'm saying what God says. Okay, so that was it, yeah. Tribal trials started because many people caught the vision at the same time. Mm -hmm. And yours was a small part and different people are different parts. Mm -hmm. And Thiessen and Derek and so many other people God brought together yeah. to create this program. Right. And so thank you for sharing how God worked in your life during that time. Yes. And uh, because of that little bit, mm -hmm. many people are blessed. So yeah. thank you, Bill, okay. for sharing about that. Yes, today. you're welcome. Yes. I'm glad to have had a part, and I give God all the glory for that. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Lord, for many blessings you have given. For the earth, the sun, the moon, Stars. Thank you for the beauty of creation, but most of all, thank you for who you are, the Lord of glory. with us day by day.